Okay, this is for the updated video because someone had to request this. Um, I'm going to go, I guess, more in depth on it. I'm using my phone this time so you can actually see what my screen's doing. Hopefully, it's going to be really high quality, 1080p. I know one of them wasn't. So, I'm on my computer. I don't have anything hooked up. I don't have an HDMI hooked up right now, but it still pops up. So, I'll show you exactly what to do both ways. Um, and again, I'll see if I can make a better one. You need an HDMI two HDMI inputs. You cannot have one. One will not work. Some better lighting here. So you see that? HDMI in and HDMI out. You need the HDMI in. If you have one HDMI port, it's an HDMI out, so this will not work for you. So you need an HDMI input. And basically what you're doing is inputting whatever you're trying to feed into the computer whether it be your Switch or your PlayStation or your Xbox or anything like that. So that's what you're doing. So the one way my video is to go straight to here, this little tab, hidden icons, and it's going to be HP, or HP Display Control. When you click that, it's going to bring up everything that you need. Standard Automize, blah, 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 HMI Input. And that's going to how you do it. While on HDMI input, use the keyboard and keys to switch back to the PC desktop. Control shift. And then you just click continue and it turns this whole thing into just a screen. And the only keys that will work are these keys. These are the hot keys. So none of your other keys are going to work. Your volume buttons will not work, nothing like that. You're actually going to have to use your scroll wheel. I'll do this. You actually have to use your scroll wheel. toggle wheel to do all the things that you need so there's no HDMI input nothing of that nature now look volume up anything like that volume down nothing works so you need to use your scroll wheel and it's gonna pull up your menus here and then you can change your color your oops come on your power, your audio, everything like that, everything you need. So this is how you're changing all your audios and everything like that. And then just get back, literally just click exit. And so control, let's see if I can do this. Control, shift, plus, oh my goodness, control, shift, plus, D. And now, that, oops, control, shift, plus, D. D. Uh oh. All right, so it's gonna bring you back to this. There. So I wonder if you can use those as hotkeys. This might be actually a third option. So let's try this. So, Control Shift S and D brings it straight to the HD monitor. So try it that way. If it doesn't work for you, if you don't have an icon, click Control Shift S D. And then that should bring it back and forth, which I guess that's the hot key to do it. So if you can't do it that way, then we are going to go to going to go to HP Display and Controls. This is what it's going to bring back up to this. So if you don't have that icon, then that's what it's going to be. So. Literally go to your tab, and if you don't have this, there is a download you can download for it. It should automatically download. But let's see if I can right click it, and you can pin to start. Let's go to more. Pin to taskbar, that's what you're probably gonna have to do um, to actually get that little, under that icon there. But this is really about it you don't have to mess with any of these this is already has it but if you don't have that HDMI input it's not gonna work um, those are the I guess three ways to do it so one would be your hidden icons that little corner on the hotbar the second one would be actually go into settings look for HP or HD HP controls and then the third one would be control shift plus D um, and I guess hopefully that works for you guys so other than that that's the only things I have if you download it that might help but Hopefully this video helps. Again, if you don't have an HDMI input, if you don't have two of them, that one, that one that says in, it's not going to work. But good luck, and hopefully this doesn't disappoint.